Again, these matches having a lot of potential to affect our rankings here. Each team got six qualification matches, and you are seeing the last one for all of our participants here today. Right away for the Red Alliance, an early lead established thanks to the work of those three robots. They clean out the playing field floor of power cells and put them all up into the inner and outer port for two or three points apiece for the Red Alliance. Two minutes of play remaining. It's Still does look purely offensive for the Red Alliance, but Michael now in red, giving a quick nudge to Matt in blue. Matt though was able to securely empty their hopper before racing back to the loading zone for the blue Alliance. Matt found themselves playing a little bit defensively against red down in the blue Alliance sector. But unfortunately, in contact with those robots for too long was respawned back to the blue Alliance initiation line. A minute and a half remaining in the match, just 17 points separating these two teams. The Blue Alliance behind in score, but far ahead in power cell count. They've scored 43. The Red Alliance has scored 35. At this point in our qualifications, every ranking point is going to matter. So if the Blue Alliance can clinch the 90 power cell ranking point, they will be able to help the rankings of all three participants on their alliance. They are only about 20 power cells shy of that ranking point at the moment, and Red is fighting their way back back up to reach that same position despite being ahead in the score with one minute remaining in the match. Matt puts up a stream of power cells for the Blue Alliance. Their partner waxed in right behind them. They've landed four so far and it looks like they were carrying eight in that Blue Alliance robot. Again, robots can carry as many power cells as they can fit in their hoppers in our simulated matches of infinite recharge. Thanks to those full hoppers, the Blue Alliance has now for the first time established a slight lead with 30 seconds remaining in the match. They've also scored 90 power cells, so no matter what, one ranking point going home with this Blue Alliance. The Red Alliance is fighting their way to do the same. Codster and Michael in red putting up power cells. They're about four shy now three shy brian might be able to seal the deal for the red alliance but just 10 seconds left brian does achieve that 90 point threshold for the power cells but with five seconds remaining the red alliance might not be able to get to the shield generator switch in time and that will count down the end of qualification match number 40. A very well fought match at the end of the day by just four points. It is the Red Alliance. They scored more than 90 power cells and they won. So that will be three ranking points for the Red Alliance. Looking at the Blue Alliance, they were able to get both bonus ranking points, one for the power cells, one for the end game. So a bit of a rare match, three ranking points going home with the Red Alliance and two ranking points going home with the Blue Alliance. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.